today we're going to um, visit uh, Three Year Mind in Bichmerstrasse um, 10 to 12. Uh, we are going to visit um, Alex and Stefan, um, the founders of the company. So, hi Stefan. Hi. Thank, thank you very much for um, being willing to meet with us. Um, so, can you please explain us what is your company? Our company is Three Your Mind, and uh, what we're doing is we make 3D printing solutions. So, mm -hmm. first of all, we have software that uh, automatizes the whole process of 3D printing. Let's say you're a designer, you want to have a uh, prototype of the product you just designed, then you can use our software in order to just push one button in your program mm -hmm. and that 3D design is sent to our portal and there you can repair it, analyze it, see if it's printable, uh, see uh, if uh, which materials are there, what they cost, and then you can order a printout of your new design. And with one click you have it. So when did you start um, 3 one mind uh, we started two and a half years ago. Um, now we are in the, in the Technical University, which is um, we're in a spin-off from the Technical University, mm -hmm. and they are, for example, providing this room to us. And uh, yeah, we've been with them for quite some time, and it really helped us. Okay. And uh, why did you choose um, 3D, the sort of 3D industry? It's just been super interesting to me. I started uh, printing, uh, making this printer here. Maybe you can have a look at it. Uh, so this wood printer, uh, I set it up myself mm -hmm. and I really liked the uh, technology, I really liked how 3D printing works, how from nothing you make things and uh, basically after I, um, after I had it and after I assembled it, I realized it's very difficult to use it um, and that's when, I, when the idea of 3 of Mind was started because we want to ease using 3D printers. And you were uh, also saying before that sometimes you actually print the parts to then re-upgrade your machines, right? Exactly. One of the coolest things with printers is you can actually upgrade your own printer with it. So you can print a new part and then you can put it and upgrade the printer with it. Well, and for us was just a natural, natural choice because first of all, it's been, um, uh, it's a city which I love. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm from Cologne, but I, I just love Berlin. Um, secondly, even before coming here, I've already been a lot of times to Berlin because there's so much going on. Mm -hmm. There's so many fairs, so many conferences and so on. So much in the 3D printing scene happening here. Um, and then we found the Technical University, which is really helping mm -hmm. to, to, uh, to get things done. So yeah, Berlin was just a choice. I mean, it is the hub in, in, in Germany uh, and maybe Europe. It's a Silicon Valley for Europe, right? So now we're walking out from the lab and we're going into the office. Yes, exactly. Where the real action happens. Yeah. Um, so, what would what would you say would be your biggest mistake so far? So, so for example, we've done projects where um, they were not exactly focusing on what we're doing, mm -hmm. and uh, and we just wasted a lot of time on that. So, so that's something uh, I definitely learned that whatever you do, just do things that are 100% focusing on... Uh, um, Where you want your company to go. Exactly. I guess most proud I am that uh, within two and a half years we managed to grow the company from an idea to something with uh, over 20 people working on it now. Mm -hmm. uh, with uh, a real company, with real things, with real things happening, with uh, big customers like uh, Siemens and Daimler and, and, and such. So yeah, it was, uh, I never expected things would go that fast mm -hmm. and that well, so I'm pretty proud of that. That's cool. Alex, come here. Hi. Hi Alex. Hello. How Hi. are you? So I'm good. good. It's super hot, but I'm good. <laughs> who inspired you to do that? Like, who's sort of your role model? Um, to be honest, um, to do 3D printing, actually no or one Or just really in general, to be an entrepreneur. Um, well, where I get my inspirations is, for example, TED Talks, and I, I love, I love to, to, to listen to, to, to these speeches. I think there are many smart people. Mm -hmm. There is one person in Poland who inspires me as, uh, mm -hmm. a lot because this person is from my small city, or from the from from, from close from my small city, and um, he has created a big private. Uh, postal group mm -hmm. within three years. Oh wow! And it's now uh, active all around the world. And his name is Rafał Brzoska. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so, so I like this guy a lot. Exactly. So I like this place, and this is actually a place where we are discussing um, issues uh, which we have on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And um, 
it's a cool place to to, to hang out and mm -hmm. to think about um, uh, about business and be creative. So this is where you do your brainstorming session.